Hi. We're the Incredible Hoax. I'm Chris. I'm Mark. <laughs> he does not approve of the way I've opened this show. I can already tell. <laughs> We're tra we've trained to that because we got tired of standing. That's, well, at least I did. I can't speak for him. I got just plum ass tired of standing. Let me adjust the light on the fly a little bit here. There we go. There we That's go. That's good. All right, so we have a movie topic. We've been doing politics, and we're now just frankly sick of it. So, movies. Let's cleanse the palate with some movies. I topic. like this. This is kind of an interesting, kind of Peter Jackson kind of a thing. I look like Frodo, and you're like Gandalf. Well, I'm naturally. It's just... a forced perspective thing, and and it, it, I look. I literally look like a hobbit here. But it's okay because cool. I I'm fatter than you are, and so and, I just look fatter than you. So we're doing a uh, Middle Earth. Episode. And fatter. Than, see, like, look. Look at that. See, he's been eclipsed by a tummy. <laughs> I protruded it out some, I will confess. <laughs> I protruded it. All right, go for it. You got a subject that all right. all our movies. You know, this summer has been seen as a summer of sequel blah. Everybody's been yawning. And, I, I don't know if I can physically take comic book movies anymore. I'm literally at my wit's end with it. Well, the... The box office mm -hmm. perception is we've had some bombs. And we have. But there's been three that came out this summer mm -hmm. that actually, in in most years you consider that would be profitable. Yeah. But, um, I, you know, you just wonder if Hollywood is just panicking. I don't know what the deal is there. So we'll discuss. Here's the three movies I, I cited as... The public reception is they were disappointments, near flops, and that really doesn't, the record really doesn't back that up. Here we go. Okay. Number one, <clears throat> Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. It made about $873 million on Worldwide, a, worldwide. Worldwide on a budget of $250 million. Suicide Squad made $742 million worldwide on a $175 million budget. Mm -hmm. And lastly, X-Men Apocalypse made $543 million on a budget of $178 million. And these are seen as box office disappointments. Meanwhile, you have a movie. Here's a comparison. Think about this. Mm -hmm. You have The Secret Life of Pet, Pets. It made $849 million worldwide on a $75 million budget. Now, we're going to... That is an issue we're going to come back to. Okay. Deadpool. Seven hundred eighty-two million worldwide, fifty-eight million dollar budget. Uh, and lastly, uh, a, there's a Chinese film hasn't been released uh, to America yet, but it made five hundred thirty-three, five hundred fifty-three million or uh, overseas, and that's called Mermaid. People are, if you're familiar with Stephen Chow of the Kung Fu Hustle fame, it's that same director. So. Okay. When, presumably, when it comes to the U.S., it'll make even more. All right. <clears throat> Marginal, but yeah. When you think about those films, smaller budgets, mm -hmm. so their, their profit margin was greater. Mm -hmm. You think about the other f three films that we started with, uh, Dawn of Justice, Suicide Squad, X-Men Apocalypse, their budgets were much bigger. Therefore, the profit margin was smaller. Now... There's, there. They had a lot of butts in seats. A lot of tickets were sold. Um, that's more of an issue of studios. Get your, get your crap together, man. There's, there was plenty of tickets sold. You, you know, you need to figure out a way to tighten a belt or something like that. But, but if you make over half a billion dollars, and you're considering that a disappointment, I think that's more of a you problem and. You have to say that movie made money, right? I, I mean, that's that's where I'm coming down on this. I think if you've made, like, Dawn of Justice, $873 million, and that's seen as some kind of disappointment, mm -hmm. that's just bizarre to me. Well, the movie business is, is a strange animal. This is all strange to begin with anyway, because, for instance, in sports, you judge your team on wins and losses. So they went out there, and they produced a product, and they either won the game or they lost the game. So that's how you judge the team. Uh, for some reason, with 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 music and books and video games, for that matter, as far as I'm aware, 
you get consumed with units sold. So what's the, the hottest thing? Well, you know, that album sold a million copies or that book sold, you know, 500,000 copies or whatever the case may be. That video game sold a million units or whatever. Mm-hmm. Movies, they never post on ticket. They, they, de- they declare the successful movies by dollar amount. Right. They never post it on ticket, which is an anomaly. All the other forms, even on the websites and web hits, you're voting hits, you're voting views and things like that. Right. So, movies are the only one we judge on dollars. So, I think that's, I wish there was a shift, a way to judge what the hot movie is, buy tickets sold. Yeah. That's too late in the game now. It's been judged this way for too long. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I wish there was a way to judge movies on tickets sold. So... I think there needs to be a fundamental shift of how we judge. Because, for instance, uh, an up-and-coming independent movie that's clearing out and just selling out indie indie houses, well, it would get better recognition if it could say, hey, this is like, it only had 200,000 available seats and the thing sold out 195,000. Well, that'd be very impressive. That that would be. I want to see this movie. Yeah. Now, having said that, to get back to your, your point, I think it's all about expectation, Deadpool was given a 50 whatever million dollar budget million. because the expectation was low. It was even released in February because the expectation was low. That's right. It took off and exceeded expectations. You can't compare it to Batman versus Superman, which had every expectation to be a billion dollar worldwide. They thought they had all the components. They had Batman, they had Superman, they had an international cast of stars, they put all the most top talent in it, and it didn't. Mm-hmm. It it didn't it didn't make as much as Deadpool, uh, even though it's comparable. Money it didn't make more, so the expectation is different. So it's it's not really about this was a failure, this was a success. I think this one exceeded expectations. This not did not live up to expectations. I don't think success fail is really the words to use. I don't really think that Hollywood or the execs would even use that word, success or fail. I think they'd use exceed or didn't or meet or didn't meet expectations. That's what I think. Well, I think they're used to this 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 model, and I think you did a good job kind of illustrating how, in a way, antiquated that is. Um, to say something is a disappointment when you're making that kind of money, it, it's almost like you're setting yourself up for failure if, if, if you're like, well, it's a billion or bust, you know? Uh, you know, if if you spent two hundred fifty million on a product, and at making a, a total of eight hundred seventy three million, you're going to view that as a disappointment. Um, then there there it's it needs to be less marketing or and 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 less budget. There needs to be a cut there somewhere. I I, I think I think they're trying to have it both ways. You know, I just uh, it's just something to me ir- iron ironic about something that makes that kind of money and they can sit there with a straight face and call it disappointment. I don't think they, I don't think they, you know, don't panic guys. You're making money. Well, again, I don't think it's pass fail. I think it's meet, exceeds expectations, meets expectations, below expectations. I think they're saying below expectations on Batman versus Superman. And mm-hmm. all of this is semantics at the end of the day. Yeah. Your universal opinion is that Batman vs. Superman just wasn't very good. It wasn't fun. Right. It's three hours long when it needed to be an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. So at the end of the day, Deadpool was a fun movie oh, to yeah. watch. And it was oh, like an yeah. hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes or yeah. so. So it was a fun movie to watch. So um, at the end of the day, you make a good product. Again, back to the uh, the sports analogy, win-lose. Yeah. They, they lost on the product level because Batman vs. Superman... I mean, literally, we were like, when watching at home, we were like, it, we're, we timed it. You're like an hour and 45 into it before the fight starts? Oh, yeah. You're way into it. Yeah. Yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's a little bit of a full movie, man. Mm-hmm. It's a lot to invest in a comic book movie. We are way over time. Okay. It's a lot to invest in the Incredible Hope show. But with that, adieu.